Chapter 1. The Importance of Water Conservation Water conservation is very important for the environment. It helps us protect our natural resources, such as rivers, lakes, and oceans. But why is it important? Well, let me tell you a story about how water conservation can help plants and animals. Once, there was a beautiful forest filled with tall trees and colorful flowers. The trees provided shade for many animals, and the flowers attracted busy bees. It was a paradise for all creatures, big and small. However, this paradise was in danger because of a scarcity of water. You see, there hadn't been much rain in the forest for a long time. The rivers and ponds were drying up, leaving many plants and animals without enough water to survive. The animals became desperate. They wandered around the forest in search of water, but all they found were empty rivers and shallow puddles. One day, the wise owl named Oliver gathered all the animals for a meeting. He explained how essential water conservation was for their survival. The animals listened carefully, their eyes wide with concern. Oliver told them that they could help save water by being mindful of their usage. He advised them to turn off the tap when they were not using it and to fix any leaks they found. He also suggested that they collect rainwater in barrels during rainy days so they could use it later when there was less water available. The animals followed Oliver's advice and started conserving water. The squirrels stopped taking long baths and instead used a little bit of water to clean themselves. The rabbits planted drought-resistant plants that didn't need a lot of water to grow. The wise owl even taught the birds how to drink water from dew drops on leaves instead of relying on the rivers. As the animals changed their behavior, something amazing happened. The plants in the forest began to thrive again. Without the wastage of water, their roots soaked up every drop they needed to grow tall and strong. The flowers blossomed, spreading their fragrance throughout the forest, attracting more bees and butterflies. The animals were overjoyed to see the positive effects of their water conservation efforts. They realized that by conserving water, they were not only saving themselves, but also helping the entire ecosystem flourish. The forest became a haven of life once again, and everyone lived happily knowing they had made a difference. From that day forward, the animals of the forest continued practicing water conservation. They understood that water was a precious resource that needed to be used wisely and sparingly. They spread the message to other forests, encouraging everyone to do their part in protecting this invaluable natural resource. And so, the importance of water conservation was learned by all the creatures in the forest. They understood that by saving water, they were preserving their home and the home of countless other plants and animals. As they lived their lives, they made sure to always remember the lesson they had learned, the lesson of the importance of water conservation. Question, how does water conservation benefit the environment? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 2 Easy Ways to Conserve Water at Home In this chapter, I want to tell you about some easy ways to save water at home. You may not realize it, but water is a precious resource, and we should all do our part to use it wisely. So, let us get started. One way to save water is by fixing leaky faucets. When a faucet drips, it wastes a lot of water over time. So, it is important to check your faucets regularly. If you find any leaks, you can fix them by tightening the pipes or replacing a broken part. By doing this, you can save a big amount of water that would have otherwise gone down the drain. Another simple way to conserve water is by taking shorter showers. We all love to stand under the warm water. But did you know that taking long showers can waste a lot of water? Try to keep your showers under five minutes. You can use a timer to help you keep track of time. By taking shorter showers, 
You can also save energy by using less hot water. When it comes to cleaning, using a broom instead of a hose can help save water too. Many of us are used to spraying water to clean our patios or driveways. However, using a broom to sweep away dirt and leaves is just as effective and saves water. Plus, it can give you some exercise too. So, next time you want to clean your outdoor spaces, grab a broom instead of reaching for the water hose. Speaking of outdoor cleaning, did you know that there are ways to conserve water even while watering your plants? One method is to water your plants in the early morning or late afternoon when it is cooler. This way, less water will evaporate before it gets soap into the soil. Also, make sure to water the roots of the plants instead of just sprinkling water on the leaves. By watering at the right time and targeting the roots, you can help your plants grow while saving water. These were just a few easy ways to save water at home. Remember, every drop counts. So, be mindful of your water usage and encourage your family and friends to do the same. By conserving water, we can help ensure that there will always be enough for everyone now and in the future. Question. What are some simple tips to save water in our daily lives? Check the video description for the answer.